Hey, Cowboys Nation! Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, your number one source for all things Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today we've got some exciting updates on our offensive line that you won't want to miss. We're talking about potential unexpected starters and what that means for the upcoming season. But before we dive into the details, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Your subscription is incredibly important to us and helps us reach our goal of 11,000 subscribers. Join our community and stay updated with the latest Cowboys news. Alright, let's get into it. The Dallas Cowboys added two high-profile rookies to their offensive line during the 2024 NFL Draft, but it looks like one might not be able to win the starting job as a rookie. When Tyron Smith and Tyler Biadas left in free agency, the Cowboys knew they would have to find two new starters for their offensive line. While they didn't make any moves in free agency, they did add two high-profile players in the NFL draft. In round one, they took Oklahoma's Tyler Guyton, who was expected to be the starter at left tackle. Guyton has been impressive during camp and seems to have the starting job in hand. In the third round, the Cowboys brought in Kansas State's Cooper Beebe, who spent his college career playing guard but was seen as a potential fit at center. However, Beebe finds himself behind Brock Hoffman, who is currently the leader in the clubhouse, according to Dallas Cowboys beat writers. Nick Harris from the Cowboys' official website has some insightful observations about Hoffman. He mentioned, Brock Hoffman has started off on the right foot in the center competition since the pads have come on. He's stronger, he's more technical, and he's more communicative than he was a year ago at the line, and you see that translating into on-field confidence with himself and Dak Prescott. Cooper Beebe is still very much learning the position and has had some inconsistencies with shotgun snapping, but you see the technical prowess that he brings as well. But as it stands, Brock Hoffman is the leader in the clubhouse. Harris isn't alone in this assessment. Patrick Walker, another beat writer, also sees Hoffman as the leader. He praised Hoffman's work ethic, calling him a difficult one to move from the position. This is quite the endorsement for Hoffman, an undrafted free agent from Virginia Tech who started his career with the Cleveland Browns but never played a snap for them. He joined the Cowboys in 2022 and appeared in all 17 games with two starts in 2023. Now, I want to hear from you, Cowboys Nation. Do you think Brock Hoffman should be our starting center? Drop a Y for yes or an N for no in the comments section below. And don't just vote, let us know why you feel that way. Your opinions matter, and we love hearing from you. Let's consider the impact of having Brock Hoffman as our starting center. He's shown significant improvement and confidence on the field, which could be crucial for our offensive line stability. On the other hand, Cooper Beebe's potential shouldn't be overlooked. While he's still learning the position and has had some inconsistencies, his technical prowess is evident. Should we give Beebe more time to develop, or is Hoffman the right choice for now? Engage with us in the comments and let us know your thoughts. And remember, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you more great content. We appreciate every one of you in our Cowboys community. Let's dive a bit deeper into what makes Brock Hoffman a strong contender for the starting job. His strength and technical skills have improved significantly since last season, and his ability to communicate effectively on the line is a huge asset. This kind of leadership and reliability can make a big difference in high-pressure situations. Hoffman's journey from undrafted free agent to a potential starter is inspiring. It's a testament to his hard work and dedication. But what about Cooper Beebe? While he's currently behind Hoffman, Beebe has shown flashes of his potential. His experience as a guard and his technical skills could make him a valuable player once he overcomes the initial learning curve of playing center. So, Cowboys Nation, what do you think? Should we stick with the experienced and reliable Hoffman, or should we give the promising rookie BB a chance to grow into the role? Head down to the comments section and let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to vote in our community poll. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the broader context of our offensive line's development. 
Losing veterans like Tyron Smith and Tyler Biadas was a big change, but it also opened up opportunities for new talent to step up. The addition of Tyler Guyton and Cooper Beebe in the draft shows that the Cowboys are committed to building a strong and dynamic offensive line for the future. Tyler Guyton's impressive performance in camp suggests that he's ready to take on the responsibility of being the starting left tackle. His ability to protect Dak Prescott's blindside will be crucial for our offensive success. Meanwhile, the center position is still up for grabs, with Hoffman currently leading the way. I want to hear from you, Cowboys Nation. How do you feel about our offensive line's prospects for the 2024 season? Do you believe we have the right pieces in place, or do you think there are still areas that need improvement? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Let's consider the potential benefits of having a strong and cohesive offensive line. Protecting our quarterback and creating opportunities for our running game are essential for a successful season. The competition between Hoffman and BB is a positive sign that our team is focused on finding the best possible lineup. If you're enjoying this in-depth analysis and want to stay updated with all the latest Cowboys news, make sure you subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you more great content. We appreciate every one of you in our Cowboys community. Let's look at the bigger picture. The 2024 season is shaping up to be an exciting one for the Dallas Cowboys. With new talents emerging and key positions being contested, there's a lot to look forward to. The offensive line's performance will play a crucial role in our overall success, and the competition between Hoffman and BB is just one of the many storylines to watch. Alright, let's get into it. The Dallas Cowboys have made some significant moves and faced some challenges early in training camp. One of the most pressing issues is the unexpected starter on the offensive line. The Cowboys added two high-profile rookies during the 2024 NFL Draft, Oklahoma's Tyler Guyton and Kansas State's Cooper Beebe. However, it looks like only one of them might secure a starting job right away. When Tyron Smith and Tyler Biadas left in free agency, the Cowboys knew they had to find new starters. They didn't make any moves in free agency but drafted Tyler Guyton in the first round, who was expected to start at left tackle. In the third round, they brought in Cooper Beebe, who played guard in college but was seen as a potential fit at center. After the first week of camp, Guyton has been impressive and seems to have the starting job in hand. Beebe, on the other hand, finds himself behind Brock Hoffman, who is the leader in the clubhouse according to Dallas Cowboys beat writers. Hoffman, an undrafted free agent from Virginia Tech, joined the Cowboys in 2022 and appeared in all 17 games last season. His strong technical skills and improved communication have made him a standout in camp. Now, I want to hear from you, Cowboys Nation. Should Cooper Beebe be given more time to develop, or should Brock Hoffman hold onto the starting center position? Drop a Y for yes or an N for no in the comments section below. Do you think BB has the potential to step up, or should we stick with Hoffman? And don't just vote, let us know why you feel that way. Your opinions matter, and we love hearing from you. Moving on, we have some unfortunate news regarding our potential breakout pass rusher, Sam Williams. On day four of training camp, Williams suffered a devastating non-contact knee injury. An MRI confirmed the worst case scenario, a torn ACL and MCL, which will keep him out for the entire 2024 season. This is a significant blow to our defensive line, but the team has already pivoted to find solutions both on the roster and in free agency. The Cowboys signed two new defensive ends, Shaka Tony and al and Mohammed, to help fill the void left by Williams. Tony, a former teammate of Micah Parsons at Penn State, brings familiarity and chemistry to the team. Muhammad, with his extensive NFL experience, will add depth and competition to the defensive end position. These signings are crucial as we adjust our defensive strategy without Williams. In addition to the changes on the defensive line, we have updates on the contract statuses of Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. New offers have been put in front of both players, with Lamb sending a counteroffer recently. The negotiations are ongoing, 
and while the financial details are being worked out, the Cowboys need to stay focused during training camp. The return of all-pro cornerback Trayvon Diggs, once he's cleared from the PUP list, will be a significant boost for the team. C.D. Lamb's holdout also presents opportunities for other wide receivers to step up. The trio of Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, and Jalen Cropper are challenging veterans like Cavanti Turpin for reps, each of them has made a strong impression early in camp. Additionally, rookie Ryan Flournoy and veteran Kelvin Harmon, recently signed from free agency, are competing for spots on the roster. We also have some exciting highlights from the latest padded practice. Trey Lance made an incredible throw, showcasing his potential as a backup quarterback. Chauncey Galston, entering a contract year, is looking to break out, especially with the absence of Sam Williams. His versatility on the defensive line will be crucial as he takes reps both inside and outside. Now, let's talk about the interior offensive line during red zone drills. Centers Brock Hoffman and Cooper Beebe, along with guards TJ Bass and rookie Nate Thomas, performed impressively. They cleared the way for several touchdown runs by Malik Davis, Royce Freeman, and Snoop Connor. Even without full tackling, the offensive line's performance was commendable. Cowboys Nation, your input is crucial here. Do you think the new additions on the defensive line will fill the gap left by Sam Williams? Should we give more opportunities to the young wide receivers or rely on our veterans? Head down to the comments section and let us know your thoughts. And remember, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. Your subscription is very important to us and helps us bring you more great content. Before we wrap up, let's consider the potential impact of our new free agency signings. Deontay Burnett and Kelvin Harmon, both wide receivers, were signed following a successful workout. They add more talent to an already competitive wide receiver group. Burnett, with his experience at USC, and Harmon, from NC State, will bring valuable skills to our offense. Keeman Hall, a cornerback claimed off waivers, will add depth to our secondary, especially with Trayvon Diggs recovering. Shaka Tony and al Quadin Muhammad, our new defensive ends, have already shown promise in practice. Tony's familiarity with Micah Parsons and Muhammad's NFL experience will be assets to our defensive strategy. Their performances in practice drills have been impressive, and we're looking forward to seeing how they contribute during the season. Let's dive into the practice points from our training camp. Chauncey Galston is looking to make an impact in his contract year, taking reps both inside and outside on the defensive line. His versatility and effectiveness in practice have been noteworthy. With the addition of Tony and Muhammad, the competition on the defensive line is heating up. The offensive line, especially the interior, has shown strength during red zone drills. Brock Hoffman and Cooper Beebe are anchoring the center position, with guards TJ Bass and Nate Thomas providing solid support. Their performance in creating running lanes and protecting the quarterback has been commendable. Now, shifting gears to our injury news. Eric Kendricks, our star linebacker, has been exceptional in camp but was held out of practice due to back tightness. He is expected to return soon. Deuce Vaughn, our second year running back, is dealing with a hamstring issue and was absent from practice. Rookie wide receiver Ryan Flournoy is also working through a minor knee issue. Cowboys Nation, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the new free agency signings? How do you feel about the potential starters on the offensive line? And what do you think about the competition among our wide receivers? Share your thoughts in the comments below and participate in our community poll. Thanks for tuning in to Cowboys News TV. We'll be keeping an eye on all the developments from training camp and updating you with any new information. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any breaking news. Your support helps us grow and reach our goal of 11,000 subscribers. We appreciate every one of you in our Cowboys community. Until next time, go Cowboys!